Hey guys, welcome to the CSCI 2320 data structure class in the summer 2021. The course that you are taking is supposed to be the CRN 33350. This is about the data structure class, and this is probably one of the most important computer science courses uh, that you have ever taken. Right now, you should have passed the CS1 and CS2. By the way, congratulations to your great achievement. This class is going to be based on your CS2 knowledge, and then we try to learn what we call the data structures. So usually what I try to ask my students in the very first class is that, what do you think the data structure is about? So in other words, what do you think you are going to learn from this class? The answer is pretty straightforward. This class is what we try to learn different data structures based on different situation that we would be able to choose the best structure way to store the data so that we can solve the problem efficiently. And that is going to be the main thing we will learn in this semester. So we will face different situations and then we will want to discuss about what is the best way to store the data and be able to answer or solve the question that we are facing? Therefore, the catalog description for this class is that this class is a required course for majors and some minors. The fundamental data structure, including the sets, lists, trees, graph theories, uh, all various things are being studied. Various methods of implementing these structures are investigated and analyzed. The prerequisite for this class is going to be your CS2. So, if you have not taken CS2 before, do not take this class. You will not be able to understand what we are going to talk about. CS2 has an important topic regarding to the pointers, and in this class, we will use pointers uh, throughout the whole semester, almost like two thirds of the semester require your understanding about the pointers. And we want to change the pointers into what we call the linked list. So uh, computer science department of UCA has been uh, accredited by the ABET uh, and that is trying to tell uh, other uh, people that this department's uh, computer science degree is well certificated. Uh, it follows the right trend. It follows the right method to teach computer science and make sure people be able to study well in this uh, uh, department. And therefore, for ABET, in order to get ABET accredited, there are six important outcomes need to be satisfied throughout the whole program. And you can see that in this class, it needs to satisfy four out of six outcomes. It shows that how important it is for this uh, class standing in our department. The first outcome is indicating that you need to have, be able to analyze a complex computing problem and apply principles of computing and other relevant disciplines to identify the solution. That sounds perfectly fit to the goal of the data structure. You also need to communicate effectively in various professional contexts, including uh, oral, written, etc. You also need to do function effectively as a member or leader of a team engaging activities appropriate to program's discipline, indicating that you need to be able to communicate with others. Finally, be able to apply computer science theory and software development fundamentals to produce computing-based solutions. Uh, in this department, C++ is the language that we want to use, and therefore you need to be able to write codes in C++ to solve the problem that are given. Uh, so this is the important program outcomes that this class need to satisfy. The course goal is going to be doing the following three things. First of all, understanding the basic of data structure in the form of C++, which is why I just discussed. You also need to understand the different types of data structures and the ability to select an effective or efficient data structures for implementing the solution. 
Uh, so this is uh, come back to the core problems of what the data structures so that you need to find the best way to store your data so that your program can run effectively. Finally, be able to work with others. The textbook that we're going to use in this uh, semester is the book that I have uh, showed over here. The title is ADT's Data Structure and Problem Solving in for the Second Edition. ADTs gives you a very important idea. That's what we call abstract data types uh, so that you will be able to learn a problem, try to identify how to solve the problem without go too much in details about the technical part so that we want to discuss the higher level theories, understanding what are the required operations. And then we will be able to move into the detail of coding. So that it separates the theoretical concepts versus the uh, technical uh, implementations. There are uh, many students will ask, what is the policy about a textbook? Uh, and here I want to say that this textbook is highly recommended for you to get one. No matter you try to rent it or purchase it, uh, it is going to be useful to you. And this is going to be an online course so that having a textbook for you to reference is going to be a much easier, a much better way to study, uh, especially for this setting. There are several other reference books uh, are listed over here. You do not need to purchase those. I will prepare those and then give the handouts or prepare the videos, uh, PowerPoint slides for you guys. Uh, but again, for the textbook, I highly recommended you to get one. For the uh, course description, here are the major several topics we want to discuss. And I also want to use this opportunity uh, to show you why CS2 is a very, very important prerequisite to discuss. The, uh, to start with the basic topics, uh, this course, including the array pointers uh, structures, those are like basic uh, knowledges you should know uh, for CS1 and CS2 already. Then we want to talk about algorithm analysis. Since we discussed, we want to find the most efficient way to solve a problem. We need to have some formal analysis way so that we can understand it is going to be a uh, cost, how much amount of time and what is the resources that are required. So we need to be able to analyze an algorithm. So uh, before we start anything, we want to talk about that and then we will move into the important topics about the data structure. So we will start talking about the lists and in the variation of lists, we have stack and the queues. And we also want to discuss about the linked list. Though these things are related to each other and you can see that they are all pointers related. In other words, you need to have the idea of the pointers so that you would be able to implement all the things that we discussed over here. And on top of that, uh, another one third of the semesters, we will talk about the trees and the trees is also pointer related. And that's why I'm talking, uh, that's why I'm trying to say more than half of the topics are pointers related. Uh, so that if you are not familiar with it or you forget about it, uh, try to make sure you uh, review those concepts, uh, make sure you are ready for the problems that we want to discuss here. After that, we will look into the hash tables recursions, sorting, and have uh, also discussed about some parallel and distributing computing concepts over here. One important thing I want to point out is that data structure is like the class that leads you or opens up uh, many other required courses in computer science, including the algorithms, database, parallel computing, etc. So the topics we will cover in the last four pointers uh, bulletins over here uh, is related to different courses. For example, hash tables is heavily related to the database. Sorting is like the beginning topic about the algorithm class. And not to mention some basic ideas about the parallel and uh, distributed computing is related to the parallel computing class in this department. So this class is truly important uh, to all uh, computer science or computer science related majors. I also want to use this opportunity to make sure uh, I make one point clear. 
Uh, taking a summer course for data structure is a good idea. That means you would be able to take all those required courses, including algorithms, database, etc., in the fall semester. However, this class is heavily loaded. So, if you are only taking data structure in summer two, I'm telling you, you are doing the right thing. If you try to take data structure and some other important classes, heavy loaded class like calculus, math courses, another computer science required course, or even elective course, it's not a good idea. I want you guys to be able to focus on this class for this month. Do well in this class so that you will be able to achieve a good grades in this class and prepare yourself for all other related courses. This is very, very important. I've heard many times that students come to me in the end of the semester saying, that, hey, I should take your advice uh, because I'm taking calculus as well as this class and I'm not be able to handle all of this. Because this class will have uh, class materials. You will have many uh, class videos that you need to watch. Uh, since this is going to be in the asynchronous format, you will also have assignments, exams, projects, etc. So make sure you only take this course in summer two, and that is what I uh, highly recommend you to do. The, this table gives you the most important uh, material in the whole syllabus. This uh, gives shows you what or uh, how do I grade your grades in the end of the semester. So course project, you will have about four different projects. Uh, and that will take about 30% on the whole uh, semester. You will have three exams. Exam 1 and Exam 2 occupy 15 and 15%. And the final exam is going towards 20%. The final exam is not going to be comprehensive. It will only cover the materials that have been taught after the second exam. But you can see that it is going towards a little bit higher than other exams. So make sure you are prepared. Finally, online assignment. In the end of every day's video, I will give you some assignments. And you need to submit those assignments by the due day. Usually it's like one day after the class materials are posted. And uh, those things are what I use to count as the attendance. And so that is super, super important. And therefore I'm going to make it worth 20% among all uh, so that you need to submit uh, almost every one of them. Think about this. If I have like 10 or 15 assignments, each assignment is like most worth about 1.5, 1.6 uh, points on the overall score. It is very, very important for you to submit all of the assignments. So uh, the last day for you to withdraw is uh, July 29th. And so make sure you uh, be able to uh, double check that date for yourself and uh, statements of ac academic uh, dishonesty or plagiarism is going to be listed over here. Make sure you do the right thing or uh, do write your own project, write your own, do your own uh, assignments as well as the exams. Do not copy and paste other people's uh, code or assignments or tests. Uh, Blackboard has the capability of doing the plagiarism check very easily. So make sure you do your own work. This is the first part of the syllabus, talks about the course policy. Later, the next video will discuss about the class policy as well as the syllabus.